Hello and welcome back to a new episode of the Conversion of Live Boat Uga. Still very much in the forward cabin this week. I've made loads of storage as you can see, which hasn't finished yet. I still have to do the same on the other side. What I'm also doing is getting some cladding onto the bottom of what is basically the um, foredeck, the extended foredeck. I'm using tongue and groove panels in there with some insulation, some spray insulation. And uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. And we are back to where we started at the beginning of this video I finished the lockers on the um, port side of the boat and I say finished but of course they're not finished they're just primed um, but I think they're looking good they'll have the first two sections will have um, doors on them I um, got some doors but I need to make them to size because everything's custom made so I'm quite happy with how that looks. I'm still um, having to think what to do with the walls, to be honest. But I think I'll do the same as I've done in the uh, seating area, which is really thin ply that bends around. But uh, as I mentioned before, the bow of the boat is um, going to be interesting because, um, well, that's, that kind of follows every kind of shape there is. So uh, I'm not quite sure how to do that. The other thing I've done is put another 
partition under the bed so there's another couple of lockers happening there as well and I finished the cladding under the foredeck insulated and uh, also it's also got a coat of primer so slowly but surely we're getting there um, it's um, difficult to get a video together every week because it's very repetitive work because these lockers will have to be made on the other side on the starboard side in the same the same way but um, I'm sure there'll be other interesting bits coming up soon I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe leave me a comment and I'll hope to see you on the next one bye